Hello children, how are you all? I hope you are taking care of yourself and studying well too. Well, today we are going to learn about homophones. Yes, homophones. The words that sound the same but have different meanings and spellings. Homophones are words that have the same pronunciation but completely different meaning. For example, when I say pair or male, they sound the same, exactly the same sound, but they have different meanings, totally different meaning. P-A-I-R is when we are talking about pair of shoes. And the other pair that is P-E-A-R is fruit. Same manner when, we, when I say C. So it can be C, S E A C, or S double E C. One is a verb to see, and the other C is when we are talking about water body C with all those fishes and octopus and whales. So C, because the pronunciation is identical, we rely on context and the spellings too to understand the word. Children, the best way to remember homophones is to practice them regularly. Then these small little tiny miny words, they won't trick you anymore. Once you have a hold of them, you'll not go wrong. I'm very sure after seeing this video, you will be very clear about all these words. Flaw. So when we're talking about F-L-O-U-R, that is flour, which we need the main ingredients when we bake a cake. The baker scooped a cup of flour from the bag to bake his cake. F-L-O-U-R. And the other one is F L O. W E R, that is flower. That is when we are talking about rose, lily, natural beauty, flower. She plucked the flower up and poked it over her left ear. So, both these pair of words are yeah, identical when I say flower. But we need to understand the usage, how they are used. Then only we'll be able to understand it is whether it's F-L-O-U-R or it is F-L-O-W-E-R. So homophones are basically pair of words where the pronunciation is same. It's identical, but the meaning and the spellings are different. Now here. Desert. Desert. One is we're talking about D-E-S-E-R-T is when we are talking about sandy desert. Thar desert, Rajasthan, that muddy small granules of sand. The other desert is desert is what you love to eat after dinner. Your ice cream. A nice scoop of ice cream with hot chocolate. So that is D-E-S-S-E-R-T. And D-E-S-E-R-T is when we are talking about sand, that hot desert, thaw desert. Aunt. Now that sounds so same, so similar, so identical. Aunt. Oh, which aunt are we talking about? A-U-N-T, aunt, is my dad's sister or my mom's sister. My aunt brought me some flowers or my aunt brought me some nice cookies. That is A-U-N-T. And when we say A-N-T, that is small little tiny creature, black creature, which keeps moving around. And we get to see more of them when we move, go to our garden. Aunt. A-N-T. Aunt. Small little creature. And A-U-N-T is when we are talking about a female lady. 
our relative that is aunt dear dear now homophone dear it's so identical d e e r is when we are talking about animal dear which, which we can we get to see in the forest dear and d e a r is someone who is very loved beloved our best friend so dear friend dear mom dear granny that is d e a r pale now this pair of homophone pale p a l e over here the word means means after the fever she was looking very pale because of the scary situation or because when she saw the scary a scary movie her face turned pale p a l e and we are not talking about p a i l that is pale bucket like jack and jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water a bucket of water so p a i l is bucket and p a l e is related to your complexion so children the, the pronunciation is identical but please we depend we totally rely on the context and the spellings to understand these words that's why i'm telling you to please go through this video again and again and you will be very clear with all your homophones there now which there are we talking about t h e i r or t h e r e when we say t h e i r possession some ones belonging of somebody somebody is the children picked up their books and walked to the door t h e i r their parents are coming today so t h e i r their house is very big t h e i r possession when we're talking this word t h e i r is used there and t h e r e there where is your house when i am asking, asking you a question you say there pointing to some place some position some point particular point like could you put the table there please so i am telling i am requesting somebody to pick up my table and put it there t h e r e there to a particular place t h e r e rice now which rice are we talking about r i s e the sun rises from the east and sets in the west that is rice rice rose rose so rice we are talking about r i s e and r i c e is rises food i want to eat rice curry rice for supper tonight r i c e you can make it out from the picture and it's very clear that r i c e is rice is food now here is the most confusing homophone i've seen children writing for diary d i for when you write something that is diary and when we are talking about a place a shop where we get milk curd or milk products that is d a i r y diary i bought my milk from a small local diary diary d a i r y the spellings are pretty similar only d a i r y and this is d i a r y so please remember when we are talking about d a i r y that is we are talking about milk and milk products and d i a r y is a small little notebook in which you write down all your important documents you write down all your important things 
So both are diary. Diary and diary. Please, D I is the school diary. So please remember that. D A is I R Y is milk and milk products. Pray. P R A Y. Pray. You pray to God every day. Yeah, I pray to God for your peace and happiness. Pray. P R A Y. P R E Y is prey. The lion was hunting for its prey. The lion was very hungry and was looking for food, and he pounced on one small creature. That is P R E Y prey. P R E Y and the and when you pray to God, that is P R A Y. Eight. Eight. Now see the pronunciation, it is so identical when I say eight, but the meaning, you can make it out from the picture. One eight is past tense of eat. Eight. He ate all the food. And one eight is number eight. A-T-E is eight. That is what we're talking about. He ate food. Something which you eat. Eat is the present tense. Past tense is eight. And eight, E-I-G-H-T is eight is number. I work eight hours a day. Birth. B-E-R-T-H. Birth is when we... It is when we travel by train and we get one particular place to sleep. That is... That is my birth. My birth. B-E-R-T-H. Each passenger slept on a birth allocated to them. A particular place is allotted to each and every passenger traveling by train. That place to sleep is known as birth. B-E-R-T-H. And B-I-R-T-H is birth. Related to your birthday. She gave birth to a healthy baby. So B I R T H is related to birth, birth baby or birthday, and one B E R T H birth is the place to sleep when you travel by train. That is birth. Pain. P A I N pain is when I'm talking about pain, pain in my, somewhere in my body. I have a pain in my stomach or my my legs are paining. So that is continuous form ing. Pain. Some body part is there is some pain. And then P A I N. And when it is P A N E, that is we're talking about window pain. Window pain. The children were playing in the classroom and they broke the window pain. So that is P A N E. P A I N is pain when some body part is hurting. And P A N E, please remember P A N E is we're talking about window pain. Maze. Now, wow, maze. The spellings are so identical except the I over there. M A Z E and M A I Z E. So M A Z E is maze. It's a puzzle. I finally found my way out of this confusing maze. And children love to play maze. All these puzzles, maze game. M A Z E. And when I'm saying a maze, I love to eat maze. The villagers grew maize to sell in the market. So that is I'm talking about corn. When you go out, you I know you people just love having corn. So corn it comes from maize. It's maize. M-A-I-Z-E. Sun. 
one sun is the heavenly body sun. The sun, S-U-N, sun is shining brightly. And the other one is father and son. Your brother is your father's son. So son, my, if your mom keeps saying now that my son is very naughty or my son is very intelligent, that is S-O-N, son. Sunday. Now both these, the spare of homophone is your favorite homophone. I know because Sunday, one S-U-N-D-A-Y is actually your fun day. It's off for you and you love enjoying this day. S-U-N-D-A-Y, Sunday. And the other one is S-U-N-D-A-E, Sunday is your yummy ice cream with lots and lots of toppings so s-u-n-d-a-y sunday is week of the day and s-u-n-d-a-e is your ice cream sunday ear ear so here this homophone is so ear. One ear is when we are talking about 365 days. That is Y-E-A-A-R. Y-E-A-R. From right from January to December. One full year. And the other ear is E-A-R. That is part of our body. He whispered something in my ear. We need to clear our ear. So, E-A-R is ear, that is human body, part of human body. And one Y-E-A-R is ear, that is one full year from January to December. And I too wish you a happy new year. May God bless you all with all lots and lots of happiness. Tail. In this picture, you can see the small little cat is wagging the tail and is feeling happy. So tail is an animal's react to kindness by wagging its tail. T-A-I-L, tail, tail of an animal. T-A-I-L, tail. And T A L E is tale means storybook. The children love listening to fairy tales, story we are talking about. T-A-I-L is tale. That is tale of an animal and T-A-L-E is story. One. Wow, one. Now one is one, number one. We're talking about number one. The Doraemon allowed the people in one by one. One at a time. One. Number. And here, one, W-O-N, one means, oh, I, I won the race. I won the shield. So, you're, you're happy and you because you've won the race. So, O-N-E, one is number one. Digit. W O N 1 is the past tense of win. Win 1 1 1. Break. Oh my god, break. Which break are we talking about? 1 W R E A K. Break means to fall into pieces, to crush into pieces. When something falls down, it breaks. So she breaks an egg into a frying pan. My mom told me to be careful and don't break the vase. So I need to I need to be very careful with that vase. Otherwise it will fall into pieces and break. So B R A K E. Here when we're talking about break of the car. John put his foot on the brake and we stopped suddenly. 
B R E A K break means to break into pieces and B R A K E is applied when we talk about break of the car or scooter train bus break root r o o t root means when we talk about root of a plant r double o t root it's connected to plants root of a plant the roots grew down firmly in the soil so you can make it out from the sentence which root i am talking about r o u t e root is we are talking about way the root to my house is this now please take this root to reach home quickly r o u t e what's the shortest route to the station so these sentences are given so that you are clear in your concepts are clear and you know as to which spelling i'm talking about homophones you need to practice frame sentences again and again and be clear with the words now here is a small short exercise given which what you have to do is read the sentence and two words are given in the bracket then you need to please put the words in appropriate places you can do this work in your practice copy please go through the video once again and try to understand and be very clear with your homophones thank you and god bless you